previous video, you have learned how to do problem analysis. So in this video lesson, we will learn second step of problem solving, which is design a solution. Before you can solve the problem using algorithm, you need to understand rules to write it correctly, neatly and understandable. We focus on achieving this goal. Define algorithm and state its purpose. Then list two techniques of algorithm. And then state the benefit using the techniques of algorithm. And then how to write correct formula in an algorithm. Then solve a given problem using algorithm. You must watch this video to the end. So you won't miss any important rules to write an algorithm correctly. Algorithm is a step-by-step -step instruction for a computer program to accomplish a task. It's a step-by-step -step instruction for a computer program to solve any problem that will transform the input into the output. That is the definition of an algorithm. Algorithm has two techniques which are flowchart and pseudocode. What is flowchart? Flowchart is a graphical representation of an algorithm in relation to its sequence of function. It's a graphical representation of algorithm. What is pseudocode? Pseudocode is a written statement using semi-formal language. It's a written statement of an algorithm using semi-formal language with limited vocabulary for human to read. Function of flowchart is a special purpose symbol connected by arrows and function for pseudocode to define spruce Procedural logic of an algorithm in a simple or it easier to understand for its reader. State the purpose of an algorithm. Purpose of an algorithm actually to provide clear understanding of the problems or to provide the computer or rather the software a set of instruction to follow. Remember, we do an algorithm actually to provide for a computer uh, to understand what instruction to be follow. We are as an a programmer. We write a set of instruction so that computer will follow the instruction to complete the problem. To consistently determine the action taken as a result of an investigation. Give a reason why flowchart is more popular in representing algorithm. It is because sometimes it's more effective to visualize something graphically than it is to describe it with words. Let's have a glance on how to write a pseudocode. Firstly, you write start and stop. Next instruction, you use step. That means you need to do indentation. You use indent, means you use tab key to write next instruction. Read input. Then for the next instruction, use uh, double tab so that you can start with calculate formula if. You can see like this, uh, calculate formula. Then you use if. Else, and then if you have a bracket there uh, to uh, cover body of statement else, and then an if while or uh, you need bracket here to cover body of statement while you put in the same in tab indentation here. Okay, but when you want to start instruction for each body of condition, body of conditions statement 1, 
body of condition else here use another tab body of condition for a while uh, but the curly bracket uh, like this make sure you put the same in then uh, in the if else or while uh, but body you write another tab like this so you will make uh, the coding the code easier to uh, understand it's readable for the user to understand the code that's why we need to use indentation so this is on the right box here you can see the mistake made by student most all the student because they don't want to see the rules they want they don't want to see the template here to guide them how to write okay make sure you you see here they just uh, write in the same indentation what happened it's actually difficult to read the instruction okay some more uh, student forget how to name variable correctly uh, use the same relevant in input process and output example number two here number two here and then suddenly they use uh, number in the process they read number two but use number only okay actually it's wrong make sure you use the same name of variable in input in the process then in the output like this example like this number one here number one number two and then you use in the process number one and number two and then when you calculate in then you store into the sum you use the same name also in the output sum and average okay so next uh, mistake made by student student forget to write correct formula okay make sure you write correct formula for every calculation you made okay this one not correct because uh, variable name is not there for input and then last but not least student also forgot to write uh, display output okay after read after process then stop what uh, computer will uh, stop execute without display anything because no instruction asked to display here so that means uh, display is important that's why you better uh, put in the same indentation enter and print like this so you know you already done the input and the output already then the calculation there in next indentation okay Before we move into solving problem, we need to remember rules on how to write the correct formula. How to write the correct formula for the computer to understand. Okay, we need to start write the correct formula in pseudocode so that we will never make a same mistake in the program later. Okay. Example one, we can see here. Uh, calculate area circle calculate area circle rather than on wrong formula column on your right side here what is wrong with that make sure don't use superscript the power of number or subscript uh, when you are into right base cannot okay because computer cannot understand that when we want to write an instruction letter or write coding actually we cannot use superlative or base we just uh, calculate uh, like this repeat it twice okay second don't forget uh, to write multiply because computer will not understand it like this we know in mathematics we can write uh, mathematical operation, arithmetic operation like this, right? 
bracket bracket means multiply but computer don't understand that kind of instruction so you must make sure multiply you must put it into the formula the third one okay don't write one and a half like this uh, fraction uh, in one line fraction you can write one line fraction like this but it's actually uh, use two line of uh, instruction computer only understand line by line so how to do that make sure you write like this okay don't forget also actually here have a mistake here make sure you write 0, 1.0 divide by 2.0 use decimal because fraction will return decimal value so you must put this is integer integer divide by integer we return integer value so make sure you write a uh, decimal value to divide don't use this one this is wrong uh. use decimal uh, to write the instruction okay and then you can see here in the fourth one you can see result output don't put on the right side of equal operator okay don't put on the right side here like this on the right side of operator is output you will write an output on the right side of equal operator equal means a sign operator it's not like maths actually computer understand calculation is on the right side and is assigned to the output this is the correct one okay make sure you do that don't um, do like mathematical okay because equals here means assign to assigned to means from the right side is assigned to left side what that means from the right side operation calculation here will result from calculation here on the right side will be store will be store in the left side of that assigned operator okay number fifth we move to the next slide Okay, number five like i said earlier uh, number five like i said earlier don't use percentage symbol in the programming language percentage symbol means modulo operator this is percentage symbol it means modulo symbol modulo operator modulo operator it will return remainder of division operation okay remainder of division operation okay. number six as i mentioned earlier don't divide integer number use decimal number this integer divide by integer it will return integer 10 divide by 100 it will return zero only not 0 0.1 because integer divide by integer use decimal number to calculate like this decimal okay make sure you use decimal so there's a double uh, data type we written double data type okay keep in mind when the process involves division use decimal number so you won't make it wrong okay lastly don't write symbol pi okay cubic uh, and then you forgot to write multiply here you just write down like mathematical operation cannot you must make sure every operation must have multiply operator okay and then last but not least don't forget variable name must start with uh, small letter you can actually use capital letter but you uh, normally uh, when you want to write uh, method in method uh, or name of class you have to start with capital letter you want to differentiate name of class and name of rival so better you use rival name start with small letter one word only don't use 
two words. What I mean, when you want to write area circle, don't use space. Just make it one word. Area circle in one word.